Okay, here we have 2.5 domain and range from the graph of a continuous function. The entire graph of the function f is shown in the figure below. I actually have two of them though. Write the domain and range of f using interval notation. Now this one's different because this one isn't a bunch of isolated points. It's a connected graph. It's continuous, okay? What that means is that you've got to imagine that this solid line is solid because there are little tiny points all along the way that make it a solid line, okay? So don't just think of it as a curve. It's actually a bunch of individual points all packed together real tight so that it looks like just a line, okay? But there are a bunch of points. Now, mathematically, there are an infinite number of points even just between here and here. So there's definitely an infinitely number of points between here and here. You can't possibly list all of those points. This is why instead of using set notation, we would have to use what is called interval notation. So that basically just tells me where the region starts and then where the region stops, okay? And so there's some bits of information that I need to know before I can do this problem, okay? First thing we need to remember is that the domain is the set, of all x values, right, or x coordinates, and the range is the set of all y values, or y coordinates. Okay, another thing we need to know is that if you have a solid dot, okay, that means that the values, the value or values, right, are included in the set, in the interval, I should say, because we got to use the interval and they are denoted by a bracket like this or a bracket like that, okay, depending on where the dot is at. Another thing you need to know is that an open dot means that the values or value are not included in the interval. And these guys are denoted by using a parenthesis or this kind of parenthesis, okay? It really depends. Now, since we're talking about domain and that's x values, that's actually left to right. So you're visually looking at the graph from left to right. How far does it span from left to right? When you're doing the range, those are the y values. The y values are this way. So when you're doing those, you should be looking from the bottom to the top. In interval notation, it does need to be formal. And when you do use your interval notation, this should always be the lowest value. And this should always be the highest value. Okay, so this is where you begin and this is where it ends, okay? And then depending on the problem, you'll have a parentheses or a bracket here or parentheses or a bracket there. It just depends on the kind of dots that you have at those ends. So let's take a look at the first example using that information. So here I noticed that um, for domain, I'm going from left to right and I'm looking at x values. That's important, you need to remember that, okay? So for domain, you're going left to right and you're only looking at x values. So when I do that, this is where it starts on the left. I need the corresponding x value, which is negative five, and it has a solid dot, which means I'm going to use a bracket. Now the graph continues all the way until it gets to here on the right side. And this corresponds to the x value of three, but it is an open dot, so I use a parenthesis. Now for range, that's 
it's going to be from the bottom to the top and I have to use the Y values. So this is the very bottom of the graph and the corresponding Y value is negative four and it does have a bracket, I mean a solid dot, so I must use the bracket. Then how high does it go? It goes the highest is here and that Y value is going to be two, but because it's an open dot, I'm going to use a parenthesis. Now let's look at the other graph and do the same exact thing. So for domain, remember two things, left to right and its X values, okay? So this is how far to the left the graph goes and that X value is negative three and it has an open dot, which means I should be using a parenthesis. Now the graph goes all the way to the right until it gets to this spot, which is a positive three and it has a solid dot, which means I will use a bracket. Now the range should be going from bottom to top and I should be using Y values. So the lowest spot I have here is this point, point and it Y value is negative two and it is a solid point, so I'm going to use a bracket. And how far high does the graph go? It actually goes up this high, right? So what is that Y value right there? That Y value is four. Now here's the question. Is there a solid dot here or an open dot? In order for me to answer that, you have to remember that this is a solid curve for a reason, because it is made up of a bunch of solid dots all, all along the way, squished together real tight. So there is actually a solid dot there. It's just really, really, really tiny. So I do have to use a bracket.